Okay. Hi guys. So welcome to our push to diamond call. Ray T, are you drinking your bevy over there? Me too. Me too. Um, speaking of that, if you guys haven't tried bevy yet, I really love it. I really do notice a difference um, in cravings. So awesome. I haven't tried the lemon. Has anybody tried the lemon flavor? No, me neither. Okay. So what I want to do tonight is I want to talk to you guys. Obviously you're here because you have a goal of hitting diamond, which is so, so, so awesome. And so, so, so doable. So stop making it think it's like this huge thing. It's honestly no different than you hitting Emerald. It is no different. It is just you doing it multiple times. Okay. So you guys all can do this. So the first thing I'm going to give you 10 tips. And the first thing that we need to focus on is belief and mindset. And you probably are like, I roll April, you talk about this all the time, but it's so true. If you are sitting there saying, it would be great to be diamond, but I don't think I can do it. Honey, you're not going to do it. You're not. So as soon as you believe it and you like, you just change your mindset, like, why can't I, you know, it needs to be a mindset where you know that you can do it. So, and this doesn't go, just go for diamond. This is for every goal. This is for, you know, everything it's, you know, hi, it's me. <laughs> you need to change it. You need to flip that switch. You need to have those affirmations, Kate. You need to have them on post-it notes on your bathroom mirror, by your computer. You need to put it everywhere. And not just for that. If you tell yourself, if you look in the mirror and say, and tell yourself you're fat, like, okay, well flip that script because you're not, and you need to talk to yourself like you love yourself. Okay. If you would not say that to your daughter, your best friend, your mom, don't say it to yourself anymore. So we are going to flip this mindset in all areas, not just put, you know, not just thinking about you as a diamond coach in every single aspect, not, Oh, I see that she does this every morning. I could never do that. I see that she does that. I could never do that. Why not? The only decision is that somebody else decided that they were going to make it a commitment and you're just sitting here wishing that you could or saying, giving yourself BS reasons why you can't. Um, so people are going to follow someone who, you know, believes in themselves. So if people are already getting that vibe that like you're unsure of yourself and things like that, they're going to go find somebody that exudes confidence somewhere else. And if you're sitting there saying, well, I'm not a confident person, girl, get it. Like just get some, <laughs> put more personal development into yourself. Oh, then I didn't mean it that way, <laughs> but put some more personal development into yourself. Like just fill your, your mind, your, your soul with good things. Um, because honestly, you just need to eliminate the excuses. If you are finding yourself saying, I could never do that. I could never do that. You need to stop and like peel the onion back and be like, why am I telling myself this? This is, you know, this is some type of lie that I'm telling myself. Why is that? And kind of do some self-reflecting and see what aspect that you need to work on because it's just not okay. Like we know that personal development needs to be a part of our life. And if you're not doing enough or you're not doing the right personal development, you need to find that and just master that mean girl because you're not going to be successful in this business until you can look at yourself and love yourself. So it is not just about you becoming diamond and adding coaches and da da da. It is also about you becoming the person that you're meant to be. And then um yeah, you're a badass Liz put it in in there. Um if anybody wants to put any personal development favorites for self-confidence in the chat, um, go ahead and do that. You're a badass, um, girl, wash your face, um, master your inner mean girl. If anybody has anything else, I love it on audible, the master your inner me girl. She has an Australian accent. It's very relaxing <laughs> to listen to. I love her. Um, okay. So number two is plug in plug into every training that you can plug into every team call that you can plug into guys. It's Tuesday at nine o'clock. And this is in addition to the team calls, the national wake up calls, the power hours, the, you know, everything else that we have to offer. And here you are because it matters to you. So kudos to you. I'm so proud of you for doing that. Um, you know, go on YouTube, go on the beach body champions page and my cover photo of our team page. I now have any training that the Beachbody Champions page is hosting because it's so good. It's like Beachbody is literally asking the top people in our company, hey, can you train our coaches on doing exactly what you're doing to be successful? And it's like, hmm, 
I guess I should probably plug into that. So go in there. And also if you ever want to do a power hour, um, there's so many recorded power hours in there. Just go watch a past video and like put in, get to work while you're listening to it. That is such a great, you know, tip that also in YouTube, go to YouTube, follow the top coaches. And, um, you know, like, honestly, just what are they doing and follow them. Um, but make it your, make it your own, no copying and pasting, you know, somebody else's, um, post or anything like that, using them for inspiration and also not doing the comparison game. Not like, Oh, look at Kim Fitzgerald, like she, or Fitzpatrick. She's amazing. I could never do that. Da, 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 da. That is not healthy. You also have to realize too, that you're, you know, you, you have two young kids, you forgot this, you've got that. And that they are not in that season of life or they have help or they have that. So there's no point in you comparing your, you know, chapter two to somebody's chapter 35. So making sure that you're using these other th resources to plug in and to grow, but not to make it like make yourself feel inferior and like make you want to cr crawl in a hole and just feel overwhelmed. And if that is the case, you just need to, again, identify whatever that like mean girl is in your head saying that negative thing and figure out why you're saying that to yourself and flip the switch and say it opposite. Um, number three is one of my favorite things to tell people go all in with this business. Don't dabble. Don't like treat this like a business. And I can't emphasize this enough. Like, it's not a side hustle. Like, I mean, for, maybe for some people it is, but if you're here and you want to grow a big business, like, you know, just go all in and stop being like, oh, it's my side hustle or it's just this little thing I do. I'm going to use Liz as an example because I know we've talked about this. You know, she at, at work, she was like, yeah, I mean, I just like kind of do this or, you know, like uh, almost like a, and this was like last year. You're looking at me like, mm, am I making that up? That was you, right? <laughs> you have no facial expression whatsoever. <laughs> and you're muted. <laughs> Still muted, but you look like you're yelling. <laughs> you don't want to unmute it. <laughs> Just forget it. Carry on. It's me. It was me who did that, yes. <laughs> At first, I didn't, I, I was like, wait, are there other Liz's on this call? So I was like looking through. That's probably why I look so serious. Oh, and then it was muted on Zoom and on my computer, multiple levels of mute. I couldn't get out. Just carry on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I was just like, oh, wait, I don't want to call her out if it wasn't her because your face. But yeah, she would be like, almost like she was saying at Summit and that like, she was almost embarrassed to tell people about it. And she realized that. And she was like, I don't know why that is. And it's okay to have that and then realize it. And then kind of think like, no, like, this is awesome. I need to be freaking proud of myself, but not be like, oh, it's just this little thing I do. No, it's this thing that you change freaking lives. Oh, for some reason I thought, <laughs> I thought Chloe was walking into her door and I thought it was somebody in my door and I'm looking at the screen here. Anyways, girl. Um, so yeah, I really want you guys to just own it and be proud and not like, you know, minimalize it. Um, so be proud of what you're doing. Don't like just put your toe in the puddle, like do a freaking cannonball into the lake. Like we are going to go all in. And, you know, instead of what example of this is like, okay, I'm going to send three invites a day versus I'm going to send 10 invites and I'm going to send a message, starting a conversation to every single person that likes my post um, or commented today, you know, going above and beyond every single person that responded to that poll on that, on that story, I'm going to start a conversation and not just doing the, the, you know, the minimum that you've set for yourself, but how can you go extra? How can you do a little more and have more? Like if my inbox is not, doesn't have any messages when I open it up in the morning, I didn't do my job the day before and I know that and it's been a it's been a couple it's been a couple days where I'm like oh didn't do my job and so I'm like I know that I need to get very intentional with starting new conversations because you always have to have something in the works not like oh I got all of my eggs in one basket Susie's gonna order on Friday when she gets paid because anytime you say that Susie is not gonna pull through like oh got my last two success club points because Susie's getting <laughs> getting her, her check no, Susie's going to flake on you. So you better find seven more Susie's as backup. Okay. Um, all right. Number four, 
constantly self-assess, self-assess yourself and your social media. So I want you to go through and say, am I doing the things that I need to be doing to build a big business? Am I doing the things that I need to be doing to get results? Because I hate to sound negative, but if you are not getting results and you are not seeing a difference, whether it be internally, you know, strength, um, cardiovascularly, nobody wants to join you. And like, maybe that's like, sounds hurtful, but if you're not going to treat your business like a business and you're not going to focus on your health and fitness to be better a year from now, then you're, you're, you're going to get some people here and there, but you're not going to build a big business. So that's why it's just so important for you to just dig in because you are a walking billboard for your business. Yeah. And, and, and the other thing is too, is like, maybe you are in maintenance mode. So you're like, okay, well, like I can't, I don't want to lose any more weight. Like, what do I do? Talk about how you have changed internally. I mean, Rachel talks about this all the time with her faith, how she's grown in that. Um, yeah, exactly. People are going to want what you have. I hope so many people, they'll be like, you just seem so happy. Like I, I want people to know that one I came from, I wasn't just like born, like, you know, pooping rainbows and unicorns and you know, all of this, but I, I had a story and I tell that. And I also am very real. And I talk about that. I still have anxiety, but for the most part, I love me and I love my life. And I am going to find the silver lining any possible way I can because of the personal development and the work I've done on myself. And when you have that and you show that, and you are not afraid of what Sally, that doesn't matter. You know, I rolls you your business is going to explode. So stop giving a crap about anybody else. Cause I'll say it once and I'll say it 7 million more times. Other people's opinion of you do not pay your bills. And if you are going to sit in fear for somebody that doesn't matter, like worrying what they're going to think of you versus doing it anyways for the people that you love, like what well, <laughs> doesn't make sense. Right. Okay. So stop doing that. Um, Okay, so I want you to look at your social media social media from a third party perspective though. If somebody comes to your page, are they going to know that you are a coach and they can join you and that you run a monthly boot camp and they can join you? If if that is not clear, then like go reassess and make things happen because you need to be also doing those breadcrumbs where it's a little bit of why you love coaching, why you love, you know, checking into your challenge groups and whether you're doing stories, posts, whatever. It is your storefront and it is your job to let people know that they can join you because, Hey, maybe somebody thinks like, especially so, okay. I have my master's in clinical exercise physiology. If I was just like talking about like client clients and coaching and not inviting people, they may think like, Oh, she's a health coach. Like she went to school for that. They may not know that they can join you. So if you're not telling them, you're not inviting them and you're not talking about how much this decision to do this has changed your life then they may sit there forever and just kind of think the same thing is like, you know, okay, that's his, that's her job. No big deal. Like, cool. She like, she enjoys her job. Awesome. Good job, April. So, um, and then are, are you looking at the terms that you're using? Are you saying challenge group? Because some people will probably know what that is, but maybe not. So, you know, I call it a virtual boot camp. You can call it whatever you want, but if you're saying things that maybe somebody that's not in beach body lingo, like knowing, making sure that they can be very clear. Um, so self-assessing, are you sharing your lifestyle? Are you, are you being positive? Like, I mean, I have a couple people that I've like unfollowed because they're like talking to their phone and their stories. They're like, Hey, I'm about to make my shake now. <laughs> like, Oh, cool. Can't wait. It's just going to get more exciting <laughs> after this, you know, like if you don't have energy, if you are not like giving value or humor or something of value to somebody, they're not going to watch your stories anymore. They're going to be like, oh, she sucks. And then you're gone. Um, don't let that be, a, that was probably not, they, <laughs> who cares? She's Sally. She doesn't matter. She says you suck. It doesn't matter. But <laughs> this is really inspirational, by the way. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, just be yourself and the real people that matter will, if they love you, they're your tribe, but just like have a little bit extra energy, like drink some energized, like put on some good music. Yeah. Just don't suck. I guess is the number four. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, okay. Number five, 
pinpoint yes get in peak state rachel does, talks about that from tony robbins and um, whatever you need to do like if you're not feeling a story don't come on just to be like hey i got it done today like save it until you're a more enjoyable human okay five pinpoint your top contenders i will tell you this is something that i am so guilty of in the past that i have coaches um i'm using rachel as a lot of examples because she's on here so rachel rocking her business and i'm like trying to drag these other coaches like come on come on let me help you let me help you and then rachel gets almost forgotten about because i'm like she's good she's got this but you know what rachel still wants accountability rachel still wants be to be mentored rachel still wants the attention like you don't yes like i would kill to have somebody be like hey april i wanted to check in with you and do a call with you and see talk about your goals and see what i can do how i can help your team i don't have an upline i don't get that Okay. So when I was like, you know, trying to work all these new help, all these new coaches or people that weren't doing it and trying to get them to do it. And then you, you have to focus on that, those top 20%. Okay. Cause the top 20%, your top 20 percenters are going to make you like 80% of your income. Most like studies show. So you need to focus on the, like the runners and just pour into them, run with the willing. Um, you know, the contenders, not the pretenders is really big. And I don't mean this to, say, to sound harsh because I love every single person on our team, whether you're a discount coach or a hobby coach, you want to build a big business. I don't care. I'm not like, oh, you don't want to work a business. Okay. We can kind of be friends. Like <laughs> it doesn't work that way. But if you really do want to like move this business forward, that is who is going to get my time with that extra mentorship. If that's not your goal, then we have team calls. We have things like this. We have, um, you know, team workouts. I'm never going to ignore you or, you know, like not help you. But when you're focusing and taking time away from your family, make sure it's for people that are doing what like they should be doing. Um, okay. Number six, some will, some won't. So what? Who's next? Some will. Some want, some, some won't, so what, who's next? <laughs> okay, so we're 20 minutes in and I, I'm already hashtag anyone can be a coach. Um, so what I mean by this is you need to continuously be in motion. You need to continuously be excited. Not like, oh, I have my eight coaches. I'm going to be diamond. Uh, no, the first eight coaches you sign up to get you to diamond are not going to be the people that are going to be with you for the rest of this business. <laughs> Rachel shaking her head. And that isn't anything, you know, bad, but discount coaches come and go and, you know, things happen. You just have to constantly be talking to people about it, constantly bringing people in. Um, because if you, that, that new blood, I like to use that term, like when you sign a new coach and they're like, yes, this team is awesome. Let's go. We're going to change lives. I love it. And you're like, oh, I need whatever she is having. Um, and so that new blood is constantly, um, you know, creating excitement. And then it just kind of is like this, this uh, ripple effect where a lot of times when people start like running and, and hitting diamond, then you see, oh, okay, she did that pretty quick. And, you know, I've been a coach for a year. Maybe I can, you know, do this. Like, and it's not about like, I've been doing this a year and I'm not doing that. How embarrassing it's okay. She did, she did it. It's go time, like starting today. And so don't be hard on yourself for any goal you haven't hit or anything like that. Just decide, like, you're going to, you're going to go and do a little more today. And you're going to focus on any area that you need, you need to strengthen and talk to your upline about maybe a personal development, a training, what you can do. Um, and just being okay with exactly your past, because you do not need to put any extra pressure on yourself. You do not need to be, you know, be hard on yourself. Everything we go through, we go through for a reason. So stop worrying about, you know, oh, uh, I did this or I didn't do that. Just focus on being the best that you can be. Um, and then, da, 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 yeah, work with those who are on fire um, and that you're, you know, you're going to sprint together. It's really cool because you get to pick who you want to work with in this business. Like how often do you get to say that? You get to pick who you want to work with. I will tell you, I've had two people right now that are really talking to me and they're a bunch of drama and they're a bunch of negativity and they're not my tribe. And I have referred them to other coaches and like, just basically like, Oh, you know what? I, it's just really not a, a great time for me. I don't know how much I'd really be able to help you. My anxiety has been really bad, but I do know. <laughs> so, and so, and you know what? 
I don't care. Like it is not worth two success club points um, to bring in negativity or, or, or toxic. I'm not going to say like, oh, no girl, I don't like you. You're, you're, you're a whole lot of drama. I'm not going to say that, but I'm not going to just say, sure, I'll take you. I'll take anybody. Cause I won't because especially, you know, I have a past where we had this huge team and a lot of people left in a hurtful way because they were, you know, they, it, it just, <laughs> they just weren't, they weren't my tribe. It was, it was a success club point. Okay. And so now I take a little bit of extra time and I get to know people and I get to know their heart. Um, you know, and you don't have to, you know, you know, do a, you know, 10 step interview. I can't talk interview process, but you do have to make sure that you guys have the same priorities and you guys have the same morals and you know, that they're a good person. So and getting to know somebody, you know, maybe you do a Zoom, maybe you do a phone call, maybe you, um, you know, just ask them personal questions and getting to know them and seeing, you know, are they posting? Are they talking about themselves? Are they being real? Or are they just like really just, you know, trying to come across as perfect? And, you know, is that because they have an insecurity that maybe they need help with? But really just digging in and just trying to find your tribe. And maybe it takes a little bit more because longer because you're talking more and you're asking more questions. But quality, uh, yes, quality over quantity is just so, so, so important. And yeah, that's why Sarah, or Sarah, Rachel says, that's why it's so important to be you and talk to the exact women you're looking to work with. Don't worry about talking to the masses. One rock star coach is so much better than 20 coaches who aren't your tribe and are going to drag you down. Amen. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going through this too. Chloe said, um, when we're talking about self-assessing your social media, she said something that I found helpful too, is asking other coaches that might have more experience than me to give me honest feedback about my social media to see what I need to do better, what I'm doing well to help me grow in that area. Such a great idea. Um, okay. That was number six. Number seven, to attract the best, you have to be the best. And that's not like, you have to be the best in the world. You have to be better than everyone. Like, you just have to be the best version of yourself. So you constantly have to be plugging in to trainings, to personal development, to bettering yourself, to saying like, I'm going to use my containers and not just say I'm going to use them, but actually track every single container and not just kind of eyeball it. Like I'm going to go all in and I'm all about 80, 20. I'm not saying like, Hey, no, like let's all live on rabbit food. But like, if you're going to say you're going to do something, then freaking do it and go all in. Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, but you have to, if you want your business to get better, you have to get better. If you want your business to grow, you have to grow. And there is always somewhere that we can grow. So figure out where your strengths, where your weaknesses are, and talk to your upline, talk to, you know, any, the best thing about our team is this culture that we have that, you know, I signed Jessica, but like Jessica doesn't just rely on me. She's got our other, you know, coaches that she can bounce ideas off of. You can grab a success partner, you know, her and Lindsay are constantly bouncing ideas off each other. Excuse me, Heather and her have had, um, you know, some masterminds. It's, it, there are so many people on this team and everybody does their business a little different. If you find that you really connect with somebody like Chloe and I are always chatting. Um, you know, if there, if you find that you connect with somebody like reach out to them, like just, you know, talk to them. Hey, I loved how you did that post. Um, you know, and you know, any, any tips on, you know, what you would do. Don't be afraid to ask us honestly, because, um, we literally, could say, you could ask us a question and you're, you know, being so afraid, like, oh, she's so busy. Da, da, da. Well, I don't check my messages unless I'm sitting down to work. And also if I could, I could probably answer your question in less than 60 seconds in a voice message. And I would be so happy to do that for you along with everybody else too. So, um, yeah, let's see audible, um, you know, constantly looking on your, you know, you get a credit every month. What are you going to fill your brain with? Um, binge watch something that's going to make you grow instead of, you know, Netflix or, you know, uh, I'm not saying like no TV, but I, I, I'm all about balance, but, you know, find something that's going to fill your cup. Okay. Number eight, go live and share your story. And you need to share your story often because you can't be like, oh, I shared my story. Oh, cool. When? Oh, it was probably about six months ago. Wow. Cool. And don't expect that everybody like stalks everything you do and that they're going to see that that's, they're not. So you need to continuously be sharing it. You need to kind of breadcrumb it. Um, I always tell people like, don't just say, 
you know, don't just like try to put all of it out there in one, you know, th setting. Cause if you're like, okay, so, um, I had an eating disorder and I was in an emotionally abusive relationship. And then, um, my parents really set these really strict guidelines for me and blah, 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 blah. Like people be like, Whoa, you've got a lot of issues, <laughs> you know, like it's just a lot. So you're breadcrumbing and you're sharing a little bit, um, of your story. Um, how often do I recommend, I, I mean, you should be breadcrumbing all, uh, often. You should be breadcrumbing at least every week. And then a short, I, I share part, I encourage you to part, why are words so hard after nine o'clock? I encourage you to share parts of your story every week. So maybe it's about like something simple as what you just weren't feeling good enough. And you woke up that day comparing yourself to somebody else and right here, right now, you woke up comparing yourself and then you reminded yourself because of the personal development that you've done, you reminded yourself that message. But you talk about that you, you know, have you ever found yourself comparing yourself to somebody else? Da, 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 and then you turn it into a message. Um, I saw something in the chat. Uh, oh yeah, Chloe said, Casey was a really great example of that. She did three different parts of her stories three days in a row, gives people a reason to come back to see the rest. I agree, that was really great when she did that. Um, so yeah, you can break it up and you can honestly just be like, okay, I'm going to be sharing my story over on my stories tomorrow. Like, don't be afraid to be like, oh, nobody wants to hear that. Well, if they don't want to hear it, they're not going to listen, but I'm sure and people are nosy. People are going to be like, oh, okay. I want to hear. And then if you leave them a little cliffhanger, like more to come tomorrow, they're going to be like, oh, okay. All right. What else you got going on? I can identify with some of that stuff. Um, okay. Share parts of who you are, not as a coach though, not like, let me share my story of how I became a coach, like the real, the vulnerable, the raw. For me, a lot, a big, big part of mine is either the postpartum depression or the anxiety. That's a lot of something right now that I struggle with. So that's what I'm talking about a lot. A lot. Um, just be authentic, guys. The biggest, the biggest compliment that I continuously get is people saying, girl, thanks for keeping it real. Like I'm going to be showing you my dirty laundry and my dirty dishes, my hair, like not brushed. I will start a story. And then I'm like, Oh, <laughs> yesterday's makeup still there. Whoops. Like I'm not trying to be perfect. And you know, especially a lot of stuff that I post with like mom life and, you know, mom guilt and stuff like that. And that whatever your tribe is, like whatever you struggle with, talk about it because those people are going to be like, girl, thank you. I needed that message today. You will get those messages. The more that you send those, um, you be real and be yourself and not trying to be perfect. Um, okay. And when you are authentic, like we said, you are going to find your future best friends. Because if you're just being yourself and your goofy, silly self, and you're not worrying about what you look like, who, you know, who's going to think you're silly and whatever, and you're just being authentically you, guess what? You're going to find more authentic weirdos like yourself. Maybe you're not weird, but I'm weird. So if you're on this team, you're probably a little bit weird. Okay. Number nine, fortune is in the follow-up. You guys like know this, you should know this by now that this is my biggest thing. Like if you're not following up, what? <laughs> like why <laughs> you need to and figure out a way that you're going to do it. I don't care. I did everything paper and pen for years and I was still successful. Maybe you're doing streak. Maybe you're doing team Z. I do not freaking care, but you need to be consistent at how you do it. Um, and you need to, you know, go back every month, follow up every month. If you're going back, here's how I follow up. I feel like I just did this on a call. I forget where we were, when, where we were, but, um, what I say is, Hey, I, you know, I know we had chatted in the past and the time wing was crazy, but I just was thinking about you today, girl, because, um, I'm putting together some of my meal plans and stuff for my boot camp in September. And I just wanted to check in and see how are you doing right now? Not like, Hey girl, did you get paid? Cause I really would love to get your challenge back in by midnight tonight. I'm literally asking how you are. I know at that end of that conversation, I am going to invite them, but right now I want to be a friend. Can I go to their page and take, yeah, it takes an extra 30 seconds to go to their page and be like, oh my gosh, you guys just got back from your lake vacation. It was gorgeous. Where were you? When people know that you're interested in them and you're not just like copying and pasting hey girl messages, they're so much more likely to respond. Okay. So just be genuine. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Play some music in the Beachbody Champions page. Um, Haley Christensen does her, you know, when she's following up or inviting, she's like, I put my gangster rap on and I handle it. <laughs> you know, so she, she does a great thing about like, yeah, she's super shy. She's like, it's 
super, um, you know, not outgoing and that then she does that and she just knows it's part of her business. So she has to do it. Maybe it's uncomfortable, but whatever, drink some energize, put on some good music and do it. Um, and also follow-ups are also, I consider them invites and they're easier invites than the first invite. So why not do it? Cut the BS story that you are, oh wait, sorry, number 10. <laughs> Cut the BS story that you're telling yourself. So do you tell yourself stories about why you couldn't do it? Are you sitting here thinking, oh yeah, okay, but I could never do what April does or I could never be that successful. I could never do that. Why the heck not? Why? Like you are your own worst enemy. Why would you sit there and limit your own life, your own vision, your own goals, your own like belief in yourself? Like guys, I don't even know how I make it through the day most of the time, let alone being in charge of two children. No idea. I am the biggest hot mess, but you know what? I did it because I wasn't afraid of hard work. Anybody can do this business, but they won't because it's hard work, right? It's not like, hard, but it's hard to be your own boss. It's hard to motivate yourself to make time when you don't have time. It's hard to motivate yourself to do it anyways when you don't feel like it, but that is what separates good from great. So if you're okay being a hobby coach, totally fine. But if you are somebody that has big goals, has big visions, wants to be debt free, wants to, you know, be able to help your parents out, you know, pay for college for your kids, you know, give yourself, give yourself your kids a better life than what you have, whatever it is, like donate generously to charity. I don't care what it is, but you need to find a why, because if you don't have a big why, you will not be able to show up on the times when it's tough. And like I said, it, you know, that is the difference between good and great. It's just stop limiting your own beliefs because right there, it's like cutting your head off. Like, okay, what? If you don't think you should, why are you going to keep going? Like, and the thing is too, is that maybe you're like, I like my job. I don't want to leave my job. Okay, cool. But wouldn't it be great if your life was easier and money does that money is not bad guys. It's, it's what you do with it. Now I get to give generously to charities and like helping the babies is my number one thing. Like I, I am able to help a local foster, um, care organization. I'm able to help like the human trafficking thing, things that like just pull at my heart and make me sick to my stomach that I get to give more than like what I made at my piece of crap job, you know, before Beachbody. Like it is incredible what this business has done for other aspects. So if you think about money and you think it's bad, you need to flip that switch because it's what you do with it. And wouldn't it be nice to be able to go to the grocery store or take a vacation and not check your bank account? Yes, it would be amazing. So stop limiting yourself and pretending like it's bad. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. So now, um, when you say I can't, so here's your actionable item. So that was the, the first one is, you know, stop telling yourself the BS story. So now your action item that I'm going to have you do is anytime you hear yourself say, I can't do that, or I could never do what she does, or I could never be a diamond coach. I'm never going to be a two-star diamond because I just can't even get somebody to join my team. How am I ever going to be a two-star diamond? Whatever you say. So write it on a notebook, whatever negative, nasty little thing you just told yourself, write it in a notebook and then take something like a different color. Maybe it's red, maybe it's pink. I don't know. And then scratch that sucker out and then flip the switch and write it in a positive affirmation, I will be, or, or sorry, write it as a statement a why that is epic BS. I will be a two-star diamond coach because I know that I have what it takes to show up when times are tough. I know that I have what it takes because I'm a hard worker, because I'm genuine, because I really want to help people. Whatever it is, I want you to everything, whether it's about your physical appearance, about your business, anything. When you have a negative thought in your head, write it out, different color, scratch it out, and tell why it's epic BS. Well, I got <laughs> for emphasis. <laughs> Okay, so what um, I asked you guys um, something in the beginning. Okay, Chloe said, I have a girl that literally has been asking me questions about the program for like two weeks. She doesn't do well with Instagram, but doesn't have any other form of social media. She knows she wants to sign up, but she wants all the info first. Blah, get her on the phone. Have you asked her to get on the phone? 
Yes. And she has not responded. <laughs oh, okay. She's so bad. Like I've emailed her and she doesn't do email. Well, I've messaged her asking like, Hey, do you want to text or talk on the phone? And she just hasn't responded yet. So still waiting. <laughs> so send her a voice message and say, Hey girl, I just wanted to check in with you. I know you're like crazy busy and you're not, you know, on here much, but do you have like 10 minutes sometime tomorrow that we can chat on the phone? And send her a voice message and be like, have a great hump day, you know, something like that. Like, just like being, sorry, everything that I say is perverted somehow. I don't mean it to be, but then I'm like, <laughs> so um, voice message is so great too, especially when you're following up because they're like, oh, okay, she's real. Like, she seems nice. She seems friendly. So voice message and follow up and then also give. What can you give? Um, you know, can you give her, give her a recipe, share your meal plan, share, you know, something. Um, when you are one, you're checking in, you have your, your happy, positive voice and a voice message, and then you're giving something free of value. It's a lot more likely for them to respond. Um, Andrea said, had someone ready to go, wanted to do bar and had done the sample five times. She told me she wanted to go, but when I asked for email, et cetera, she ghosted. Same thing, get her on the phone ask her what she's struggling with, ask her what her hesitation is, why, why she isn't pulling the trigger and get everybody started with something. Okay. Obviously I want to tell people that the best value is that, that challenge pack, but if like $160 is just so far out of their comfort, they're just like, you know, COVID has put stress on their finances, then freaking do the two week free trial and then get them started with three months of bod and throw energize in their cart. Like just start everybody with something. I'm like, yes, we want to start there. But if somebody's like, oh, I won't be able to this month. Okay, well, get them on Beach Body on Demand. And then next month, maybe they can do a completion pack. You need to get them started with something and you need to love on everybody the same. You know, maybe they did a two week free trial. I'm literally more up my up their butt than, <laughs> there we go, it's sexual <laughs> things again, um, with people that do a two week free trial than somebody with a challenge pack because I'm going to check in with them every day in my group, but somebody with that two week free trial, if they don't actually do the workouts and they don't actually take a look at the fixate show and everything that we have to offer, they're not going to be able, they're not going to convert into the challenge pack. And then, you know, you, you can't do the trial again. So, um, you know, I really am like, Hey, how was your workout? Hey, did you figure out how to access this? Here's a video on how to access the beach body on demand. And I, I just look at everybody as, you know, a life that you can change. Like nobody is more important or other because they spent, they bought a challenge pack versus just beach body on demand. Um, okay. Brittany says, I have a challenger that was interested in becoming a discount coach, but it's kind of goes to me. She'll answer all my texts about how she's doing with her workouts and nutrition, but hasn't answered my texts asking her about what her and her spouse discussed on becoming a DC. She's very active in our Facebook group. What should I say next? Um, for this, it would just be like, is she ordering shake? Performance line? Yes. Okay. So she, figure out how much she's going to save and tell her um, and be like, that. you know, I honestly can't imagine going a workout without my energy. So you're probably like me and it's going to be crack and you're going to want it every day. So over the next year, you're going to save this much money. Even if you don't want to do anything like mm, kind of a no brainer. And then when you're getting great results and your family is like, Hey, what are you doing? I literally will help you um, do it everything to get them start set up and you could just make like 50 bucks right there when somebody signs up with the same thing you did so just kind of talking to her and being like yeah and when people are like oh my gosh you look so great what are you doing i'll help you get them signed up and you can make a referral bonus so you know just throwing that in there too but yeah i like to add up the savings over the year and kind of like talk about like I mean, I know you're, you're going to be addicted to energize and you're going to be stuck with it, but you know, you're going to be using it from now on. Um, let's see. I think that's, I was, I, Chloe said, I always tell people that they are never too busy to do something that they love. And then sometimes I find myself telling me that I'm too busy in this season to do all the coaching things. My husband calls me out, never too busy to prioritize myself and what I love. Yes. Rachel said the obstacle is the way I've read that before. Um, today I affirm a journal. Okay. All right. So, um, does anybody have any questions or anything? I mean, obviously what I said, you don't have questions about, but do you have any questions in your business while you have us here that you would like some help with? 
no biggie if you don't, but we're here if you need us. All right, I'm going to stop the recording.